Hi, this is Missy from Beer for the Ladies. So uh, about a month ago, I made a German style wheat beer. I'm trying to make it taste kind of like a Hefeweizen like I had when I was in Europe last year. And uh, so here it is. It's been conditioning for two weeks and I stuck it in the fridge for a day. Um, hopefully it's good. This is actually the first time I'm tasting it. Unlike my other tasting videos where it's usually the second or the third time, I have not tasted this one yet. So ah, there we go, got a hiss. Smells right. Let's see. Oh yeah, look at that. Getting a decent head. The color looks good. Mm. It's looking pretty good actually. So in Germany, take that last bit, swirl it, and then you get all that yummy yeast out of there. I know I said yummy. It's not a good word. I understand. Adults don't say yummy. Yeah. That is a pretty beer. That is a really good looking beer. I'm gonna tell you that I might have I might have been very successful with this. That that actually looks pretty close. Uh, my camera operator Shelly, she was in Germany last year. What do you think? Does that look like it yeah, does? It does. It looks pretty. Alright, so let's taste it and see. I almost don't want to. It's so it's so pretty. You know, I do make pretty beers sometimes, but this one is just it's really pretty. Okay, we're gonna try it. Mmm. That is, that is pretty, pretty darn good. It's got like a sweetness. German beers aren't excessively hoppy like uh, some other European beers and certainly not, not like American beers. Um, it's got a, a real bready um, kind of a smell to it. I feel like I got that carbonation just right. It does not have that kind of banana clove uh, flavor that I was going for. Um, and that would be from the yeast, but but that's okay. Um, this is still a super delicious beer. And I mean, I don't wanna toot my own horn, toot toot, but I, I think I would drink a lot more of this. And I'll hold the camera and you don't have to see you. I just, I just want you to taste it. You let me know. I know you can't. She doesn't want to be on camera. Drank about half my beer. That's great. Oh, yum. That's good, right? It's good. It tastes like something we had in Germany. It does taste like something we had in Germany. So at least you drank like half of it. Um, so this, this <laughs> was a successful recipe. It. Yes, you did. This was a successful recipe. And again, this was not my recipe. This is the German wheat beer recipe from um, Old West Homebrew right here in Colorado Springs. So if you want to try that... Uh, if you want to try that recipe, you should head on down there. I, I'm pretty sure you can get it online too. Uh, the only thing I did different was I did not use the prepackaged um, uh, yeast that came with it. I splurged, spent eight bucks on the uh, Weinstefen yeast, and I think that was a big difference because this is this is a delicious beer. So, anyway, I hope you try some more uh, recipes if they're in a box or they're your own. Either way, just get out there and start brewing. Thanks for watching. Cheers.